Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on May 26, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and anything else exciting happening on our very excited planet right now, and we're looking at 304 angstroms right now, our sun, as we have another sunspot, 28, 26, which has come alive Looking at incoming imagery here, we're not talking about this one. We're talking about the one that is leaving, and there's no major incoming activity right now. But 2824 and 2826 are lighting it up in the outgoing position. Looking at some close images here, as they did produce a CME. Both of them. And it looks like yeah, it kind of looks like the last 28, 26 released a C-class flare. Looks like, anyway. No Earth-facing coronal holes to talk about. So no major incoming space weather events except for the one that we are receiving right now, which is pretty minor, considering we had three to four CMEs heading at us. Looking here at Iswa showing the CME leaving. That was a departing position CME on the sun. But it's headed straight at Venus. And as well, uh, Stereo A. Or no, Parker Solar Probe. Looking here at the real-time solar wind. We are steady at 399 kilometers per second right now. Real-time solar wind. Seeing quite a jagged spike here in the density as well. The fine angle little flip-flop here. Interesting correlations here with the north and south polarities. That is our magnetic perturbation. So we were definitely smacked around a little bit. Looking here at the KP index for today. As, yeah, we were in a G class, G1 class solar storm, KP index of 5. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 30, 48. Considering what we're looking at and what we're going through right now, it does not surprise me. Amplitude of 48, quality of 7.8. Earthquakes around the world, I did give you a quite an intense earthquake update today and as well volcano updates today so man what is going on with our planet we're going through a really quiet time i tell you that though just recently 4.3 pakistan most recent africa 4.5 south america 4.5 105 kilometer depth as well, 4.3 Peru. 4.1 there. Chile. Nothing has reached over a 5 since yesterday. Look at Puerto Rico. Consistent 3.0 and greater earthquakes. Rare earthquake here, 2.8. In Fincastle, Tennessee. As well, White City, New Mexico, seeing some earthquakes today. Rare earthquake here, Santa Barbara, California, 3.4 earthquake, 11 kilometer depth, 2.7 Mina, Nevada, and as well, Redwood Valley, California, Clear Lake, quakes in the lakes. I did put a report about that in the last week or so. Looking at Hawaii, largest report, 3.1, through Alaska, largest report, 3.6. 
Let's have a quick look across Canada for Earthquakes Canada. And apparently on the 21st, all of a sudden this showed up. On the 21st of May, Calgary, yet another earthquake. So that's the third earthquake. This one, a 2.8. So that's the largest earthquake that Calgary has seen. The other two disappeared. So we're going to call them Calgary ghost quakes. Looking eastern Canada. Rare earthquake here as well. Wyerton, Ontario. Right off of Lake Huron. As well, none of it seeing a 2.4 here at 80, 18 kilometer depth. And as well, a 3.1 this week. And look at the West Coast through BC. Wow, guys. We're going through so much right now. I'm hoping that you are subscribed and you've hit the notification bell. Earthquakes coming back here to Kamchatka, 4.1 there. Pretty deep as well, 230 kilometer depth. Japan seeing a 4.8 just recently as well today. And four earthquakes here just off the coast of Taiwan in Japan. 4.5, 4.6. And then look at this. What the? I mean, we've been looking at earthquakes every day, this map every day for the past month. Four years, pretty much. I've never seen it with no earthquakes here. Just saying. We're going through a really quiet time. We have to be ready. Stay aware and prepared. Much love for humanity. Have a look here. The last seven days for earthquakes. A lot of greens, yellows. That's fours, threes. No major fives. We haven't had a six in quite some time as well. So heads up. Cascades. West Coast. Northwest Pacific. Pacific Northwest. PNW. Let's go. All right. Let's look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing a lot of tornado warnings ripping through Texas and northward through Kansas and as well Colorado. The list is littered right now. There has been over 30 tornado warnings or sorry, 30 watches. About 12 warnings have gone out. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes to update. Reventador in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia, Ibu, in Sangue, Dokono, Niragongo, Nevados de Chilean, Sabin Kaya. Uh, ring down here, Great Sitkin, of course, at Etna in Italy, Suiza Najima, Japan, Fuego, Guatemala, Pacaya, Guatemala, Krakatoa, Luatolo, Soufrier, St. Vincent, Popo, and Nevadas de Rules, and many, many more. But for 20 volcanoes being updated in one day is a pretty big deal. And as well, the Great Sitkin waking up is a pretty big deal, too. When we have an explosion at Mount Rainier, that's a pretty big deal, too. So please, I'm watching the big picture here, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Thanks, everybody, for staying tuned to the do. Tropical Cyclone Yas is making landfall through Bangladesh and parts of eastern India. And we'll head northward into the Mongolian mountains and then most likely head eastward after that. But we'll see here. Five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide starting out here. Home base Calgary, Alberta as we've got some pretty nice temperatures right now. Uh, some really strong winds blew in some Pacific moisture. And yeah, you can see a low pressure system coming in here towards BC and then heading northeastward through northern Alberta. But warm temperatures are definitely coming from the Pacific thanks to that low pressure system and the dominant high pressure ridge has moved a little bit higher, which is what we need here. We want summer, don't we? So yeah, still cold temperatures, higher elevations, high pressure ridge, big low pressure system off the Pacific there, and extreme weather running through Texas and northeastward throughout the week. So watch for extreme weather daily to break out. Cool temperatures, northward high pressure ridge 
is going to help fuel the fire with those th systems because it is soupy and humid through the Gulf right now. Low pressure system moving out of the Atlantic provinces in the next day or two and then you've got a nice dry week ahead of you. Warm temperatures moving in. Overlooking the Atlantic, still looking at a tropical storm Anna who is about to trek into Iceland. As well overlooking Europe. Watch for a low pressure system here to get squeezed between the high pressure ridges through central Europe and head eastward but pretty much it's going to linger around through the five day forecast here as well watch for extreme weather to break out through Morocco this week could see some hail events extreme weather all along the the foothills of the Mongolian mountains as tropical storm Yas comes into play and then I can't tell if it goes west or east here with this forecast but it looks like it's showing it going east here. Tough to say, things can change quickly. Like, how about the size of this super typhoon that could be coming in this long range forecast here? Now it's still early in the forecast, but we, there is quite a big low here growing in the West Pacific with this forecast model. And it's set to hit that long line atmospheric river coming out of China Watch for extreme weather to move through Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, and as well, moisture moving into eastern Australia. You could see some extreme weather too as, those, as that line of moisture moves through. And then looking at New Zealand, you've got some pretty gray days ahead of you as well and lots of moisture wrapped up with this big low pressure system. A long line of moisture coming from it right to the equator. So yeah, look at the size of these systems. They're still just going beast mode now. They're bigger than they were last year. I can tell you that. Watch for some extreme weather to move through Venezuela and as well Colombia this week. Equatorial daily evaporation. No major weather events to talk about through Africa, except for coastal rains moving in later in the week. Overlooking the Indian Ocean, and no cyclones to talk about. No other major weather systems. Much love to everybody. I appreciate you tuning in to the, 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 the Daily Do, where we look at space weather, give you a world weather forecast, and full report an update on earthquakes and space weather. Leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. You notice anything? These are kind of antipodes to each other in the Pacific Ocean. One in the north, one in the south. Thanks everybody for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the